charges, yo. The Electroscope Project. By Lauren and Ari. Woo! Some useful definitions. Conductor. A conductor has the ability to transfer charges due to having free electrons. Insulator. Insulators do not allow for transfer of charge due to being the electrons being tightly bound to the nuclei. Electroscope. An electroscope detects the presence of charge and can also become charged. Polarization. Polarization is the separation of positive and negative charges of an object due to the presence of a charge. Friction. Transfer of negative charges from one object to another is by friction. <laughs> contact. Charging by contact is the transfer of negative charges by direct contact, conductors. The object becomes similarly charged as a source of charge. Induction. Charging an object by induction, either positive or negative charges, by using the presence of charge in grounding or separation. Grounding is adding or removing electrons from the earth for an object. Our first concept is charging by friction. Lauren negatively charged the balloon by rubbing it onto her head, and then this makes the negative charges in the balloon repel with the negative charges in the electroscope, moving the straw. I am your father. So, as I bring the balloon closer to the electroscope, the negative charges in the electroscope will repel from the negative charges in the balloon. This is called polarization. The net charge on the electroscope is still neutral because we are not transferring any charges. As we bring the balloon away from the electroscope, it, is, it becomes unpolarized because the negative charges are no longer repelling from the negative charges in the balloon. This is Ari with her fun fly stick. And this is Ari using her fun fly stick to negatively charge the electroscope. We will now watch the video. Go. Now the point of this was that there's charges that I want you guys to make sure you address. <laughs> Notice how the straw in the electroscope stays deflected from the plate even after the fun fly stick is taken away. Make sure you address <laughs> This video is a video of grounding. As you can see, I still take the fun fly stick, I will negatively charge the electroscope, and then I will ground it by using my finger and take the negative charges into the ground. <laughs> Hello, I'm Darth Maul. <laughs> so as you saw from the previous video, the electroscope was negatively charged and this straw was deflected from the plate. However, when we touch our finger to it, we take away these electrons from the electroscope and bring them to the ground. All of these electrons are grounded because the earth wants the electroscope to be neutral. Therefore, the electroscope is now Neutral! Yay! Alright, so with my crew member, Ari, we decided to come up with a procedure to charge the electroscope by induction! Woo! Oh my god! Alright, so, she pushed all the negatives to the bottom with the balloon, so that made the electroscope polarized, and then with her finger she added more negatives from the ground, and then it leaves the electroscope negatively charged. 
So, as Lauren explained in the last slide, we charge the electroscope by induction. So, as you can see, we put, by putting this negatively charged balloon near the electroscope, we pushed all of these negative charges to the bottom of the electroscope. Now, when I touch my finger to the electroscope, it sees all of these positive ions over here, and it puts more negatives here to neutralize it. This causes the electroscope to be have a net charge of negative and the straw is now deflected from the plate.